Master teacher, 429. Master teacher, help my mind. Ooh, good afternoon. Um, I'm glad to be here. This is the master teacher, 429. I'm coming to share my experience with the drug, Embrel. Embrel is a immuno, immunologic, is a biologic, which means that it pretty much stops your body from attacking itself by working with your immune system, by doing what they call TNF. Um, it's prohibitors, things that prohibit your body from attacking itself. On a spiritual level, it's pretty much with negative self-talk. If you talk to yourself the wrong way, um, you have trauma that happened in your mindset and it came out in a form of inflammation. <coughs> Excuse me. It could be that your immune system was weak and the bacteria got into your body and it started getting into your joints and your body mistakenly thought that that bacteria was the enemy and that bacteria uh, kept repeat, uh, um, copying itself and coming out in the form of an autoimmune disease. I have done years and years of research on autoimmune problems. And once you become an autoimmune patient yourself, you'll start seeing and meeting other people who are just like you. Okay? So I started Embrel back in 2014 after about seven years of having chronic inflammation throughout my body. It started in 2006. Uh, I had just lost my job. I was in a stressful relationship. Uh, I was just getting out of that relationship, actually. I was living with family members who weren't really supportive at all. And I think my body just said, you know what? Enough is enough. I was physically looking good, but I used to eat Burger King every day. The 99 cent Whopper special right down the street from my job when I worked for State Farm. Um... I used to get Wendy's because they worked across the street, too. So I had a Wendy's, Burger King, and I had three-piece wings on 79th and Stony. All right? So I didn't have the best eating lifestyle, but, yeah, I worked out. I worked out. I looked good, but my body wasn't receiving it, and I was undergoing under a lot of stress. I tried everything. I was taking herbs. I did a raw food cleanse. As a matter of fact, when I came back from a raw food cleanse over in Jamaica, I stayed there five days because I've always been health conscious. When I came back, um, I ate something with high sodium in it, and bam, overnight my hands swell up, and I was like, what's wrong with me? Overnight from the year 2006 to 2007, I became in the flame where I was like this. I can't move. I was. They put me in a hospital for five days. Um... I was pissing on myself because I couldn't get to the bathroom in time. I would crawl to the bathroom on my knees because my ankles were so inflamed that I couldn't walk. Uh, I couldn't do my hair, so I looked a hot mess regularly. And then on top of that, I was in a dysfunctional relationship with the, with the person, a man who couldn't he could just stare at me, to be honest with you. And I still tried to work through all this. All right, I still was trying to work through all of this. Um, I eventually ended up on Social Security for a couple of years. I was rebuilding my life. So fast forward, after all of the research, I found out the root cause, which is mental and then uh, bacterial and then physical and spiritual. All of them go together. Embro came in around 2014 when I was rolled into a hospital and the doctor pretty much said, I can't do nothing for you, but put you on this. I didn't want to take it. I have been a rebel for seven years. I didn't want to take this drug, but I'm glad I did. So this video right here for all the females or males who are going through right now where you don't want to start this medication, you're afraid, your body is responding in a way right now where you're almost upset with yourself. You are either lost your job or going to lose your job because the fatigue the pain, uh, the disappointment of having to do this drug is about to hit you and you're pissed off or you're disappointed or you're afraid. I am here to tell you that it's not the end of the world because I was that person. I was afraid. I felt like I was a failure because I'm supposed to know about drugs and my father was an herbologist and all these things, but I didn't know how to apply it to my life to bring success. So I got on this drug. I have the container full of these right here, okay? This is the click, the short click. You inject this into your arm. This is 50 milligrams, by the way. 50 milligrams a week. They're going to give you 50. They can give you more. I would suggest ask your doctor start off on the lowest dose because they get chemical happy. 
They just want to inject you so quick and get you out of pain so it can show, hey, I'm a good doctor. I gave you the right drug. You don't want to stay on this stuff forever. And you can wing yourself off. All right. I'm going to show you. You click this in your body. You take the top off. You put it in your arm one place. You can put it in your in your in, in your stomach. from 10 to 15 seconds. So inject one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 10 to 15 seconds, you should hear a click, bam, you're done. You do this once a week, make sure you use alcohol, make sure you're in a clean environment, make sure you wash your hands and act like you're your own doctor. This stuff works. I didn't have any side effects that I know of. The only one side effect that I wrote down was little small white spots, which they call liver spots. Like old people get liver spots when you're taking too much medication. So to get beyond that, find you a good liver cleanse. Dr. Richard Schultz has a really simple liver cleanse with uh, orange juice or grapefruit juice, um, garlic, olive oil, and uh, ginger. And you mix it in, you blend it three days out of the month, bam, your liver is clean. Find you your own liver cleanse. Um, you don't need to be cleansing your liver all the time, just chronically, but you should do it at least once a month while you're on this drug. Wing yourself off if you can. You're supposed to take this every week. I take it maybe every two weeks based on need or if I'm working out, eating well, thinking well, and I'm happy, I have almost forget to take this drug, to be honest with you. But the truth of the matter is, this helped me get back on my feet. And I wanted to share with people who are either afraid right now, you're skeptical. Um, I say you have to go within yourself, and you don't have to stay on it forever. It is psychological. Um, there's a lot of other people out there who could say different things. Um, this drug, for every four of these clicks, it costs $3,800 to $4,000 in the United States of America. In other countries, it could be as low as 100 bucks for this whole four, this package. But you get four in the package. Um, I'm trying to get more out for you. You get four in the package. And... Sorry about that. You get about four in the package. I'm not going to get you out too. I have a big bunch of these. You get four in a package. It costs about $4,000 for the whole thing. If you don't have insurance, bless you. That means your optimism needs to be on a whole nother level. And you should be on your square so you won't have to stay on this drug. If you do have insurance, you still need to try to get off of this. Just be happy about it. Be grateful for whatever insurance you have. Either it's the government, bless the government. If either it's your insurance company, whomever is paying for you to have this drug. It will give you relief if you believe. Believe, be optimistic, but also change your lifestyle through meditation, mantras, and good health. Okay? If you have any questions at all, inbox me down there. Um, subscribe and ask questions, and I'll make more quick videos. This was too long already. Um, I wish you health, love, success, prosperity, lots and lots of money, lots of love. This is Master Teacher 429. Have an awesome day.